Today I bring you an incredible story full of mystery and discovery. Have you ever wondered what secrets can be hidden in the most unexpected places? These people were minding their own business when they made discoveries that would go down in history. Don't miss this exciting video to discover all the details. Number 1. In 2010, Randy Garo was looking through items at a junk store in Fresno, California, when he found an old tintype photograph. It was a picture of a group of men playing croquet. Nothing special, right? Randy bought it for $2 and continued on his way. However, upon closer inspection, he realized that one of the men in the photograph looked like Billy the Kid, born Henry McCarty, alias William H. Bonnie, or Billy the Kid, he became famous as an outlaw of the American Old West. If the photo really showed the Wild West outlaw, its value would have increased exponentially. Unfortunately, Randy's claims were initially met with skepticism and the photo was not easily verified. After an arduous process of extensive research, historical analysis and modern facial recognition technology, experts finally confirmed that the photograph was authentic. It was taken in 1878 and did indeed show Billy the Kid with members of his gang, the Regulators, during a break from their turbulent lives of illicit activities. The only other confirmed photograph of Billy the Kid, known as the Upham Tintype, sold at auction for $2.3 million in 2011. That said, Randy's $2 investment is definitely one of the best decisions he's ever made. Number 2. In late November 2020, a Utah Department of Public Safety helicopter crew was conducting a routine inspection of bighorn sheep in a remote part of the desert when they came across a metal monolith approximately 10 to 12 feet tall. Strangely, the monolith was embedded in the red rock and there was nothing else around it. Upon closer inspection, they realized it was made of stainless steel or aluminum. Aside from the fact that it was extremely out of place, there was nothing special about the monolith itself. However, with its sudden appearance, it immediately captured the attention of the locals. The discovery of the monolith led to a wave of theories about its origin. Some speculated it was a piece of art, possibly in homage to science fiction, while others suggested it could be an installation by an anonymous artist like Banksy. Conspiracy theories also emerged, with some people suggesting extraterrestrial involvement or secret government projects. Today, the mystery behind this monolith is largely debunked. It is believed that it was an art installation by a group. Several other monoliths were installed in different parts of the world, most of which were in places where you would not expect to see a giant metallic column. The only question surrounding these installations was the message behind them. Any ideas? Feel free to share them in the comments below. Number 3. This accidental discovery is definitely every amateur paleontologist's dream. In 2005, while exploring his property near the Judith River Formation in Montana, Bill Ship stumbled upon a large fossilized bone sticking out of the ground. Although he was a novice in paleontology, Ship recognized the importance of his find and contacted experts for further investigation. The fossil turned out to be a well-preserved leg bone from an unknown species of horned dinosaur. Researchers at the Canadian Museum of Nature, led by paleontologist Jordan Mallon, examined the fossil and identified it as belonging to a new species called Spiclipius shiprum, in honor of ship. Further research revealed that Spiclipius shiprum was a herbivorous dinosaur that was closely related to Triceratops and lived about 76 million years ago. It was approximately 15 feet long and weighed up to 4 tons. It's truly amazing to think that an entire species of dinosaur was revealed thanks to a chance find. Number 4. Recently, scientists accidentally created the smallest, tightest knot ever recorded. This knot might not look small, but that's only because this is an enlarged image of the actual knot. 
This microscopic object is made up of just 54 atoms and forms a trefoil knot, an intricate structure that resembles a three-leaf clover with three interlocking loops and no loose ends. This knot is not only tiny, but also incredibly tight, setting a new standard with a skeleton crossing ratio of 23, narrowly beating the previous record of 24. The discovery occurred at the Chinese Academy of Sciences when researchers were working on connecting carbon structures with gold acetylides. One of their chemical reactions unexpectedly produced a gold chain that spontaneously knotted into this record-breaking structure. How does this discovery affect us? It has significant implications for our understanding of molecular structures and their applications in nature. Similar knots are found in DNA, RNA, and several proteins, which play critical roles in maintaining stability and function. By studying these molecular knots, scientists can gain insight into how these natural systems work, which could lead to advances in materials science and the development of new polymers and plastics. Number 5. Dinosaur Footprints I don't know about you, but I've always been fascinated with dinosaurs. It's incredible to see all the traces these incredible creatures left behind, from their bone fossils to their footprints. That's exactly what park rangers discovered at a Texas state park in 2022. This was possible because of a two-year drought that hit the area with rising temperatures and significantly less rain. The river that runs through the park receded, with some parts drying up completely. This revealed magnificent dinosaur footprints that experts believe are more than 113 million years old. The footprints discovered are probably from a creature called Acrocanthosaurus, a giant that lived in the forests of North America. It measured up to 15 feet tall and 38 feet long, weighing as much as three small cars. It had spines on its back that supported a muscular ridge, which is believed to have had several purposes, such as supporting its body or regulating temperature. Although it is not clear how he lived, his size and characteristics would have made him dominant in his time. Number 6. In the remote areas of Western Australia, in the middle of arid lands, is the site of the oldest meteorite impact, the Yarrabubba Crater. Geological studies have established that this formation arose just over 2.2 billion years ago, possibly ending a global glacial period. Currently, it is the oldest discovery on Earth found by scientists. To obtain more precise results on the age of Yarrabubba Crater, scientists used regional mineral samples, especially zircon and monazite, which contain uranium with a known decay rate. Despite sounding simple, the process involved advanced scans with modern equipment. The crater, which used to be 70 kilometers in diameter, is now gradually shrinking, currently being a small red hill called Baron Hill. Although it may disappear over time, the value of the discovery persists, since the meteorite impact caused significant climate changes that influenced the subsequent development of the Earth and its life. Without this event, the Earth could have remained in a frozen state without experiencing global warming. Number 7. In 2020, a team of paleontologists from Monash University in Melbourne carried out excavations that led to the discovery of some of the oldest fossils found in Australia. A surprising and somewhat unseemly find shocked scientists when they discovered a piece of amber with a rare composition. The most amazing thing was that the stone preserved mating flies, estimated to be about 40 million years old. Amber is a remarkable material capable of preserving organisms trapped inside. In Australia, amber is considered extremely rare, so the excavation results were surprising not only with the flies discovered, but also with thousands of pieces of stone hidden underground. In addition to flies, other well-preserved organisms were found in the amber, which will allow a better understanding of Australia's ecosystem and the study of the insects that lived there 40 million years ago. Number 8. This spider could be the main source of fear for any arachnophobe. 
since its size is astonishing. A hand-sized fossil was discovered not long ago, but it could diversify the evolution of spiders in Australia, showing how the continent has changed over time. The giant trapdoor spider is especially significant as it is only the fourth fossilized arachnid discovered on the Australian continent. This is the first fossil of a trapdoor spider from the family Baricellidae, found by world experts. The new species has officially been named Megamonodon Kluski after Dr. Simon Kluski, who discovered this specimen. Between 11 and 16 million years ago, the second largest trapdoor spider fossil was discovered on Earth. This creature is five times larger than similar species today. Although its body has a diameter of about 2.5 centimeters and legs of approximately 5 centimeters, these dimensions are notable for a spider. The discovery offers information about the past of these spiders. 15 million years ago, Australia's dense rainforests were transformed into deserts by Miocene droughts, and the Monodon and Megamonodon spiders disappeared. Its smaller relatives survive today in Indonesia, Singapore, and Papua New Guinea. Finding fossils of trapdoor spiders is difficult, since they hide in burrows, which does not favor fossilization. It is unlikely to find more fossils of these spiders due to these conditions. Number 9. The Egyptian temple still houses hidden remains not yet discovered inside, demonstrating the greatness of Egyptian history over the years. In a unique discovery, archaeologists have caught the world's attention by finding the remains of an ancient Roman Greek temple dating back 2,500 years in Egypt's western desert. Archaeologists discovered a statue in the shape of a man's head, and two limestone lion statues at the archaeological site near the Siwa Oasis, which is said to have been visited by Alexander the Great. The remains date back to the 2nd century BC, to the 3rd century AD, and stone walls reaching 3 feet in height were also discovered, as well as the main entrance to the temple leading to a courtyard and other rooms. The temple is located 200 miles south of the Mediterranean Sea and 31 miles west of the Siwa Oasis. Experts are expected to find more remains at the site later this year, and the exact size of the large temple, or when exactly it was built, is not yet known. It is believed that these temples were economic centers for priests and locals, as well as places of worship. Experts hope that this discovery will help better understand the Greek and Roman occupation and their activities in the region. According to historians, the Greek king Alexander the Great conquered Egypt in 332 BC, and after his death, the Greek government ruled for 275 years until in 30 BC, the Romans took control of the region until 295 AD. AD Number 10 on an exploratory expedition in 2015 to study volcanic rocks in the Sahara Desert in West Africa, a team of geologists from West Virginia University in the United States discovered a strange land formation that was a flat desert dotted with hundreds of long, isolated hills with steep slopes. Researchers soon realized that the harsh landscape they found was formed by drumlins, a type of hill commonly found in places that were once covered by glaciers. Drumlins are known to be elongated accumulations of glacial sediments, generally one or two kilometers long, and their size and shape vary depending on the origin and formation conditions of each hill in the region currently known as the Namibian Desert, which was once covered in ice in deep geological times approximately 300 million years ago. This discovery is further evidence of the changing nature of the planet since its formation, which scientists estimate at around 4.5 billion years. Number 11. Archaeologists discovered a temple in the desert of the ancient city of Peru, which still features large stone blocks and a long staircase dating back 3,000 years. Scientists believe it was used in water fertility rituals in the city. 
Scientists found inside the temple a square shape that they believe was used to perform fertility rituals with water taken from the Zana River, which is near the temple. Religious monuments over 131 feet tall were also found. The monument is located at the springs of the Zana River, about 500 miles from Peru's modern capital, Lima. This discovery is unique as it represents minor architecture in Lambayeque, but it was not announced for fear of looters who care about collecting treasures, especially since the site, after being discovered, was not well secured. The temple comes from a time when water was divine and used in a number of rituals and religious practices. Scientists were also able to determine that this temple was home to a sect of water worshippers by studying how the changes were made and what the altar, which has holes similar to those found in other temples of that period, looks like. Number 12. Researchers. In a study published in the Journal of the American National Association for the Advancement of Science, found that Derek T. McLaughlin, a professor of planetary sciences at the University of Berlin, and his colleagues headed to the desert of Atacama in 2015 to study the ways of life there. In this study, which they supervised, the researchers discovered that although organisms dying on the Earth's surface and traces of DNA have previously been found, this is the first time we have found life still persisting in the Atacama Desert. He also added, we believe that these microbial communities can enter a long sleep for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years, in conditions very similar to those on the surface of Mars before they come back to life when it rains. When the researchers returned to the Atacama Desert between 2016 and 2017, they found that these microbial communities were in the process of returning to dormancy, but were not dead. NASA has concluded in recent years that Mars had oceans, lakes and streams of water billions of years ago before the climate changed dramatically on the planet, leading to its transformation into a barren desert. Scientists still do not know why this change occurred, turning the planet into an inhospitable desert, so it is not ruled out that life may have existed on Mars at some point and evolved. Scientists are currently looking for any evidence of this. If life really once existed on the surface of Mars before its conditions became as extremely difficult as they are today, it cannot be ruled out, according to this recent study, that life forms could have endured somewhere beneath its surface, similar to the microscopic organisms in the Atacama Desert. Number 13. The advancement of aviation led to the discovery of a treasure of ancient civilizations after remaining hidden for a long time and not being discovered from the Earth's surface. We are referring to the impressive Nazca Lines, which pilots discovered flying over the skies of Peru in the late 1920s and which are now on the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The Nazca Lines extend over more than 500 square kilometers in the Nazca Desert, southern Peru. They include straight lines, geometric figures and artistic representations. The Nazca Lines have remained preserved thanks to the region's isolation and arid climate. These lines are believed to date back to the ancient Nazca civilization, which flourished between 200 BC and the year 600 AD. The numerous figures are similar to those found in textiles and ceramics from the Nazca civilization. The wide scope of the designs and the extensive area they cover suggests that they were drawn over centuries. But how did the Nazca people manage to draw these lines on the surface of the desert? The top layer of soil, coated with iron oxide, gives the lines their distinctive color. The top layer, which goes back about 30 centimeters deep, was removed to draw the designs, allowing the lighter layer to appear, creating the contrast between the two colors. The Nazca lines are stunning evidence of human ingenuity and have been the subject of fascination and study since their discovery.